Hi, I'm Nick Doran. I'm a software engineer at the MGGG redistricting lab. And today we're going to talk about redistricting and how you can get involved with open data and open street map. So here's an example of our tool, Districtor. And you can draw different districts. As you're doing it, you'll see if the population balances out between your districts. And you can also get more detailed layers, such as past elections, uh, demographics, and you can also see a tabular view, district by district as well, of these like race, ethnicity, and past election data. This is really important right now because we just had the 2020 election, and over the next couple of years, there's going to be this redistricting process in all the states, both the US Congress, State House, State Senate, and also city and county level, and even school board districts have to be redrawn so that everyone, they all have an equal population. We believe that this tool is going to be a big help because we want to have stop gerrymandering by having the process occur transparently in the open. So fair maps depend on this kind of community feedback and participation. There are some legal methods as well which are interesting, but those all start with having a real idea of where communities are. So this brings us to communities of interest. There are 24 states that specifically talk about communities that are neighborhoods, common economic interests, uh, environment, race and ethnicity, and we have this as an option in our tool as well. So you don't have to fill in the whole map and become like a pro redistricting person. You can just draw some neighborhoods, they can overlap, and you'll get some statistics about them and you can share and describe a neighborhood and share it. This has turned into some really interesting events that have been hosted at colleges and even at a middle school and we like to kind of show all those plans together and get people interested in like what is GIS, what are these different layers, uh, how do you collect statistics about things, how does their government work, how does their government not work sometimes. Um, so this can all be done based on this process. OpenStreetMap is a big part of this actually because we have the Mapbox base map for both of these options. We, in communities of interest mode, often have people say, can you draw from this school to this shopping mall to this road? So we zoom in, we have all those labels there from OpenStreetMap. In fact, we've started hiding some labels on OpenStreetMap because we want people to choose their own locations for neighborhoods. We have been publishing our own open data, not on OpenStreetMap, but just so people have access to the same precinct and election data that we use, uh, that we have verified with different state and county election boards. We also use the 2018 ACS for some more recent data that has more detailed stuff about income and age and education that I think would be a big part of understanding a community or preparing for the 2020 census information. It's open source. It's a node app. Uh, what things that are a big question for us still are who comes and participates in meetings, whether these are going to be online or offline. We want this to be open to everybody. We don't even collect an email address. Anyone could come in and start drawing if we give the information to make it easier for them to get started. And we're trying to connect with more city groups because if you think about it, if 30 maps get sent to the state, it's not as big of a deal as you know 30 people show up to city council with their ideas. I think that has a bigger chance of having an impact. As I mentioned earlier, we're interested in education, and we're also interested in these, how are we showing on the map Native American lands? How are we showing special communities and interest groups that aren't really showing up on the demographic scale, but matter a lot in terms of who's representing them and who's running for office? And you can get involved very easily. I just mentioned those open challenges, which I'd love to have ideas on. Uh, you can draw your own state. We recently added DC and Puerto Rico on the Communities of Interest tool. And really any feedback you can give us or connections you can give us to have more of these events where Districter is being used would be a huge help. So thank you.